Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six. Meaning have my back because I have yours. Now, um, every time, yeah, we have the five of cups here. And we have the six of wands. So there was no victory because of the sadness that went on. Five of cups energy. Unsure about the emperor type energy and also seven of cups yeah you're or excuse me emperor empress type energy you're unsure about it and the five of pentacles caused you to have struggle so five years you've been dealing with a situation to where you were unsure about empress energy or the sadness that or victory in regards to not really trusting in yourself you know not really trusting in yourself we have the seven of P cups here saying that you have options but the three of wands leads me to believe that you just are not sure about what the outcomes could be hmm. when you see, when you know, having foresight, like being able to prepare for certain situations and certain energies. And so when it comes to you kind of looking and seeing, you don't see any growth here and you don't see any victory. You don't see any room. All you see is sadness and that there's options available, but there's more so struggle than anything else. And that's where the Empress comes in with not you you not being able to um, kind of get the gist of why you're doing what you're doing or why you're in a situation that you're in. Yeah. See, the moon in the reverse comes with the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords just lets me, lets me lead, it leads me to understand that there is a lot of deception and, you know, you having, you're letting people get away with, um you're letting people get away with the unknown you're you're letting people get away with the deception or the sadness that they're causing you because with the fives being here you know fives mean basically you having stability but you know there's no stability when it's like you can't trust a situation at hand or you don't see the outcome of why you decide to do the things that you're doing. So you have to release the fear, which is the moon in the reverse. You have to be able to release the fear in order for you to get to a point to where you're able to really just trust within yourself. Has nothing to do with, with uh, anyone else. The Empress energy is about what you are like letting people get away with. You know, you're letting people hurt you um, instead of you calling people out on their shit. And it's causing you to feel like you have to depend on others or like you don't have that confidence within yourself in order to see the beauty in yourself or to be abundant. And so here it is, five years you struggled with the same energy and now you have the insight, five of cups energy, insight knowledge to know what's causing you sadness that you have more options out there, but you are kind of just letting people go with the flow with the three of wands being here. And it's, it's like a hard thing because you know, you're looking ahead and wanting growth and expansion. But again, with the moon being in the reverse, it just lets you know that you have to release the fear. You know, you have to see the unhappiness. You have to see the insecurities that you're letting the energies around you cause you, you know. And so, therefore, that is kind of how I see that. With the six of wands being in the reverse is what we're clarifying. It comes out with the queen of uh, cups energy. Your empathetic nature is why you're not moving forward and why you keep having empathy and just going with the flow five of cups energy when it comes to, yeah. So the king of cups and the queen of cups is here. So when it comes to you having empathy about what's causing you sadness, the king of cups shows its face because it's like you have to have some type of balance or emotional control uh, when it comes to what's causing you calmness and comfort. Just because a person, a place, or a situation is around you, if they don't see what you see and see your strength and recognize what you bring to the table and it causes more energy and you are allowing them to do that, the Empress is what we're clarifying now. You're allowing them to put that energy around you. Yeah, Ace of Cups energy is just letting you know that, you know what, new relationships need to happen. You need to understand where your creativity lies and what options you have. And that's why the Seven of Cups is right here. Also with the Five of Pentacles struggle. You have more options than what, you know, you believe 
or that you are leading on to, but because of your empathetic nature and you're trying to reason uh, with what's causing you to be insecure and with the moon again being in the reverse, you have to be able to release that. That's the hard part about seeing the future of the what ifs. And that's the reason why you need to live in the present moment. Learn from the past and live in the present moment because the what ifs are causing you to doubt yourself and to feel insecure about who you are. And you have options just like everyone else. Seven of Cups is what we're clarifying. You know, you have options just like everyone else. The two cards that came over, yeah, Six of Pentacles. But you choose to give to people. Six of Pentacles, six years you've been giving to these situations, people, places, situations. And it says uh, with the Six of Pentacles, given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. And that's causing you anxiety. It's causing you to, you're like basically respectfully driving yourself crazy because the Nine of Swords energy is here. It's causing you anxiety and it's causing you to struggle with making decisions. Five of Pentacles here is causing you to struggle in order to make the decisions of where you are. So again, living in the present moment, not worrying about the future because you can't control it. Five of uh, Swords energy it lets you know that even though somebody can win and be a victorious, you know, you're not going to let your ego um, or people with the biggest egos get the best of you. And so that's where you have to be able to see through your wands energy what it is that is happening to you and what, you know, what what will happen dealing with ego looking ahead for your future. Three of wands energy is what we're clarifying, if that makes sense, you know. So look at the cards. Yes, yeah, seven of wands. So the seven of wands is defensive. You, you know, look at this same face. You know, you have to be a little bit defensive. You have to protect your energy and protect yourself. Sorry, my microphone is right here. And preserve the things that you want. And, you know, this is you maintaining your control and not letting anybody, and this is the realization that you have to have, judgment energy, that you have to maintain control for yourself and have some sort of stability for yourself, emperor, emperor energy, the emperor energy, Aries energy, is you being able to, you know, respect yourself enough that you aren't able to create because of the opportunities that's right there. You have the options, Ace of Cups energy, you know, you're, you have to be able to understand why you need new relationships. You have to be comp compassionate and creative within yourself. And that's why the emperor shows its face because you can't do this if you are if you can't see um and trust in yourself and look ahead and know that your future is bright the moon energy in the reverse um yeah uh comes with the knight of pentacles energy you got to be able to do the work knight of pentacles um energy says you can't get the results without first doing the work show up work hard keep pushing every day you are doubting yourself in regards to the new opportunities and the um conflicts uh that have been happening six of wands being in the reverse you know there you you're doubting that and so with that being said you have to understand that your pride ego remember i said ego which is the five of swords ego is keeping you stagnant because of your empathetic and passionate and loving nature and giving nature you know what i mean but it's causing you anxiety at the same time so here it is people are making you feel insecure about who you are and how you love ten of, ten of cups energy right here um about what you really want out of a situation and they're like strong arming you and causing you to stay stagnant and not be able to do the work for yourself and to constantly constantly give 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 to everyone and you know dealing with ego is one thing but having an ego about well if i do this for my betterment how will they judge me and that's where you have to let that go when it comes to the moon being in the reverse. Do you have to let it go and release the fear and the unhappiness and the confusion of the doubt that you have within yourself or for yourself? And that's where you're, you know, you're depending on others' uh, opinion of you, if that makes sense. I'm not, you know, that's just kind of how I see it. You know, you're dependent on others um, or how they see you. You know, you're worried about how they see you. And that's the fear that you have and what causes you so much insecurities. Um, yeah. You have to go within unseen forces and acceptance and accept that this is what's happening to you. The insecurities, you know, seven of swords energy, you know, being, you know, the, the um, 
letting people get away with it, you know, and um, also with the Ten of Cups being here, what you really want is inner happiness. And, you know, and that's a part of having your dreams come true and accepting that. This energy, the unforeseen forces is telling you that you need to believe in yourself and stop worrying about other people's opinions of you. They're like assholes. Everybody has one, you know, and so that's just kind of how I see that energy, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. I think that that's what you need to do. Stop worrying about other people's opinions. If you want to know about the four agreements and also the crystal deck, the chakras, um, I'll put the links up above. I have been MIA for this last week. Um, I was under the weather, and um, it was just something that I needed to do. So I came back, and then I had to take time out. Actually, I'm just now getting my voice back. Oops, I hit my desk. I'm just now getting my voice back. So there you have it. We all have to take time out for ourselves, and sometimes we just have to disappoint the people that we love and kind of take time out for ourselves and, that, and just really see that it's time to sit back and really go um, go when the universe says, when the unforeseen forces say, you know what, it's time, you know, and so I got my voice back, I'm feeling better, and I, I'm able to come sit down. So the Herakimer diamond, the Herakimer diamond, it's the crown and the third eye chakra, and, and it's divine guidance, high vibration, high vibration and attunement, and it says, spiritual communication c comes naturally to me. So the only person that you should be worried about is yourself, and you know, as long as you're aligning with the universe, but you can't make assumptions in regards to how somebody will, um, how, how somebody will look at you or the opinions of what they have to say or what they'll say if you decide to take care of yourself. Does that make sense? And so it says, ask for what you want. Um, and it's don't make assumptions. Sorry, the car fell. I got to get use my foot. Um, don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask what, uh, ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask likewise. Everybody has the right to ask for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. So, again, people can ask for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no, and vice versa. You can ask people for what you want, and they have the right to say yes or no. But that doesn't mean give, give, give. Um, and that's where the six of uh, uh, pentacles come out at your empathetic, that empathetic, loving nature causes anxiety for you because you sometimes dumb down your, your options that you have in order to satisfy everybody else based upon what you think they would feel. And so assume nothing, don't make assumptions. It says if in any kind of relationship, we can make the assumptions that others know what we think. And we don't have the uh, we don't have to say what we want. We assume they are going to do what we want because they know us well. They know us well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, "How could you do that? You should have known." And nobody will know unless you say what it is that you want. And you know, sometimes the only person that you can communicate and that will kind of know what it is that you want is spirit. And so it says, spiritual communication comes naturally to me. So you have to understand that if this is something that comes naturally to you with the universe is who you're going to communicate with. Everyone else, meaning love and insecurities and acceptance, everyone else you're going to have to say what it is that you want and not make the assumptions that they just know. Because, again, the six of wands being in the reverse just lets you know that it makes you feel some type of way. Um, and um, again... You know, it gives you a lack of pride or a lack of recognition because, you know, everybody else's ego is up above. But, again, it's ego for you because nobody is recognizing how you feel because you're not saying it. So that's why you have to ask for what you want. And the only person you should be communicating with um, in the 5D besides sending strength and healing to other people, period, is the universe. And that's how I see it. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. And also acceptance of others.